more comics y'all having a good time? Yeah. Hell yeah, then please make a lot of noise for your next comic, ladies and gentlemen. All the way from the back of the room, make a lot of noise for Tijuana! Yeah. Hello. My name is Tijuana. Yes, and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. I moved to Montgomery, Alabama 13 years ago to get away from the Bloods and the Crips. <laughs> Didn't realize that Alabama got their own version of him. <laughs> Roll Tide and War Eagle. <laughs> oh, y'all know about that? It's deep, huh? Yeah. I hate my job. I resent caring for people, especially those that don't care about themselves. Unfortunately, I'm a registered nurse. That's what we do with our job, yeah. Basically, I'm paid to care for all people. But sometimes I feel they don't pay me enough. They don't pay me enough to take care of fat people. I, I, I'm sorry, morbidly obese people. I'm talking fat people weighing six, seven, eight hundred pounds. Anybody seen that reality show, My 600 Pound Life? Yeah, yeah, that's the fat, that's the one I'm talking about. Damn, them ones, yeah. These fat people are getting sick and coming into the hospital and expecting and demanding care. These fat people know they can't fit. They can't fit in the CT machine, they can't fit in the x-ray. Hell, the standard hospital bed is a twin size. Them fat people know they need a California king. You said you saw the show. If you watched my 600 pound life, you know they be in a big old king size bed. That's what they, that's, that's it. Be in there talking about, is this the biggest bed y'all got? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but your Grady's big boy bed upgrade card has expired. <laughs> Fresh out. They know they need to make arrangements. Let us know so we can order the bed for you, but we don't have big boy beds just laying around. I hate fat people and their enabling family members. Always up in my face worried about when the fat person gonna eat. Oh, damn. When my wife gonna get something to eat? I'm like, eat? <laughs> Sir, don't you know that your wife is suffering from TFTB? What's that? Too fat to breathe. <laughs> Hell, eating is what got her fat behind in here weighing in at a whopping 635 pounds in the first place. Trust me, sir, your wife can miss a couple of meals. <laughs> yeah. Let me work on her breathing first, and then we'll worry about food. Yeah. <laughs> and now I say that kind of stuff, but now I'm getting letters from HR on what not to say to fat people. <laughs> and they're taking it far. Like, I wanted to go out last night, but I had to come in early because I had to get up early for my sensitivity classes at work. <laughs> Talking about I need to work on my sensitivity for hurting these fat people feelings. <laughs> now as a nurse, I understand the shock felt when somebody dies suddenly, unexpectedly. I get that. But I hate when family be acting all extra when somebody dies who's been terminal for years. Family all up in there, oh Lord Jesus, they done killed mama. They done killed my mama. Jesus, why? Why, Jesus, why? Why? Is she dead? Is she dead? Is she dead? I'd be like, stop. Just stop it. Now you know full well that mama been curled up in a fetal position for the last six months in a coma, vegging out, so this should be no surprise. <laughs> this should come as no surprise to you. To be honest, mama been dead. We just been keeping her body around so me and the doctor can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should be mad. <laughs> I was counting all that overtime on my paycheck this week. <laughs> I'm trying to buy a boat. <laughs> Gentlemen.